news, my name is Coach Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update from SeaWorld Orlando. Now today, I'm going to be talking about this brand new 2021, possibly pushed back 2022 project that's set to be a B&M coaster. Now we first thought with the codename Penguin that this is set to be a B&M wing coaster. However, however, we may have reason to believe that this could be the world's first B&M surf coaster. Now, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you get your hashtag questions. Use the hashtag question before or after your question in the comments down below to celebrate 2,000 subscribers when we hit that milestone with our next Q&A session. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So I'm going to share with you the evidence, and then I'm going to share with you my thoughts. I'm also going to share my thoughts as to what could be a B&M surf coaster. But let's start with our stats and facts. So we knew the construction started from this, and knowing it being a B&M, they probably started manufacturing the track at the factory by now. However, with the current COVID-19 pandemic, I'm sure the coaster may get delayed by a couple of months, a few months, or it could be delayed until 2022 like most 2021 coasters. So, this is all surrounding this brand new coaster coming to SeaWorld Orlando in 2021, possibly 2022, but I'm gonna go on a limb and say 2021 if they've manufactured the coaster track in the plant and construction has already started on park. Now, at first we believed to believe a B&M wing coaster, however, this could be going the same route as King's Dominion in the fact that we're just, we may not see a wing coaster because of course we saw the wing coaster plans for King's Dominion, they were scrapped, and or shelled should we say, and we're still yet to know what set to replace Volcano while the rumoured SNS 40 free spin coaster replaces the crypt ride next to Volcano, the blast coaster. For SeaWorld Orlando, however, it looks like they're not going to fill them in with a 4D free spin. They're going to actually possibly not be a wing coaster, but it could actually be the world's first surf coaster. Now, this would be an interesting fit. Now, I, now using this evidence that I'm going to show on your screen, uh, we can see some coding. Now, the coding actually, and I've, high, and I've sort of put a circle around the coding, it's very clear to see that the actual coding for this um, is SFA. Now, usually with B&M coasters, you have a coding. With Bulger and Mabiard roller coasters, you have a coding. And with most coasters, you have a coding. So, SU would be stand-up. Um, WC or W, I guess, would be wing coaster. But this one is SF-A. Now, dash A means it's the first model. Now... That, and it'd be the same if another part decides to add one next time, and it'd be SF-B-C-D-E, etc. But SF is surf. So sort of, it's the same with SU for stand-up, it's the same for WC for wing coaster, it'd be the same for, um, uh, I, I can't remember what the code is for dive, um, or flawless or anything like that, but... It could tell us that this is a surf coaster. There's no coding on here for wing coaster. Uh, and this is an equipment for amusement ride roller coaster encoded SDEF-A. Now our second evidence on your screen now, found a dozy, you can see highlights in yellow. I picked this image off the internet. I can't remember who uh, found this in the first place, but I want to give credit to you for this image. Um, you can see there again, the SFA and then um, marks and numbers, SeaWorld Orlando, US Orlando is highlighted, and a 14 piece count, arrival date, um, 23rd uh, of March, 2020. So this was a while back, this permit, for some uh, track delivery. So this was uh, um, quite a while back, but obviously nothing's confirmed at this stage, obviously with the world being as it is at the minute, a lot of things aren't gonna get confirmed at this stage, however, I felt like this was the perfect opportunity to discuss what I think could be a surf coaster. Now, there's been many talk of what a surf coaster could be. It could be a next-gen stand-up coaster, where this, instead of like the seats are 
sort of facing the front way, like the normal stand-up coaster would. If you've ridden Shockwave at Drayton Manor, which is an Intamin stand-up, you'll know that kind of formula of a stand-up coaster. Some of the Togo ones, the B&Ms, like Riddler's Revenge at Six Flags Magic Mountain, that's a, a B&M stand-up. So you've got this sort of front-facing stand-up. Maybe a surf coaster is a redesigning and a redevelopment of the stand-up coaster as a next-generation development. So maybe the seats are turned, so you've got... So you sort of, like you're on a surfboard, so you're sort of getting like a side coaster kind of thing. Uh, so you'll have, it'd be, it'd be the similar kind of seating to a normal stand-up coaster where you get two people per car. Uh, but instead of uh, facing them frontwards standing, you'd have them back to back. So uh, you sort of have one at this side, one at the other side. Uh, and it'd still be like the normal stand-up variation. Obviously they'd, you know, work on the restraints, make them better, maybe bring in... Uh, maybe not the massive bulky restraints that you see on wing coasters and flying coasters, but just you know thinner restraints like you see on Nemesis, the inverted coaster at Alton Towers, um, and just work on the restraints of the stand-up coaster a bit. So I think if it is a next-generation stand-up coaster model, I don't think it'll just be the seat variation to make it a surf coaster. I think they'll work on what everything, what the stand-up coaster was, and sort of make it unique and make it new. Uh, so work on the restraint system, uh, work on the track. Obviously use that new B&M track work on the trains as well we don't want the trains to look very uh you know buildy party and workshoppy type trains uh you want them actually to be themed designed like the hyper coaster trains the wing coaster trains the flying coaster trains the inverted coaster trains uh, the, uh just any other train really uh so you'd want a specific design with this uh, and i think if it is a surf coaster and you've got to remember you know penguins do like to uh slide down the front on their backs um, which could uh, maybe give us a different variation on the surf coaster. Maybe it's a stand-up flyer. I mean, so there's no um, sort of leg restraints at the bottom. You know, like you get on like Galactica and stuff like that, where you get those little floppy restraints. So when you pull down the restraint, you get the little thing on the legs that sort of holds it in. Maybe there's something else at the bottom holding the legs in. Um, and you sort of, you're not sitting down, it's not like a normal seat, so you sort of stand up, you pull the restraints down, something holds your legs, makes them comfy of course, uh, could be the flat things, it could be like a little holder, it could be the flat things again, but this time no seats, so it's like a stand up flyer, so you sort of feel like you're on your back, you feel like you're surfing, like, you know, belly down on your board, on your surfboard, so I thought that would be a very interesting variation, it could be a wing coaster with spinning seats, it could be the B&M 4D, fourth dimension wing coaster that many of us have loved to see for years um i know there was i i i know many people have loved to see a bnm 4d coaster uh, for many many years maybe this is the variation of it maybe it's like sitting down on the normal wing coaster and the speeds are singing like you're spinning around in the surf waves um it there's, di there's different you know theories and rumors about what it could be it could very well be a normal traditional wing coaster you never never know it could be a tr it could be a different type of wing coaster that's not a surf coaster uh, but I think at the minute it's definitely pointing more towards a surf coaster the world's first don't forget surf coaster would be the first one of its kind which would be uh, very iconic for SeaWorld Orlando but I think we can probably guess at this point that it will be by Bolger and Maviard I think with these uh, permits that I found on the internet uh, for track delivery I think it's very, very clear that this will be a Bolligar and Mabiar coaster either way. So we can definitely try and put to bed, all but confirm to be put into bed the manufacturer rumours. We can pretty much guarantee now it is going to be a B&M uh, in 2021, maybe push back to 2022. However, I definitely think that SeaWorld Orlando, in terms of the traditional type of B&M, I think it's going to be a bit of a debate now between a wing and a surf coaster. And of course, deciding what that surf coaster actually is. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to uh, find more developments on this and sort of pick up on more details on this and how we're going to uh, continue to work on the construction of this ride and sort of sp spot any more stuff on it. Obviously, if it is going to open in 2021, we will expect some kind of uh, summer announcement online from Orlando. Not in public, obviously, because of the large gathering uh, rules uh, with COVID-19, but 
uh, you know, I think some parks will still do their announcements online uh, for the people to see. So they have like a, a link to like a live meeting call and they do their announcement, you know, they live stream it to people on a meeting or something. Uh, you get people that can flock in, uh, make sure the mic's turned off and sort of hear the announcement, you know, yourself and things like that. So I definitely think that, and they'll open the floor to questions as well from the public. So, or maybe it's like a strategic meeting where, you know, certain people are invited, you know, press, media, different news outlets. So, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how they announce this next coaster. But, I think it is torn between a wing and a surf coaster. I think that's the two we're going for here. But, I think we're leaning more towards this world's first surf coaster, in my opinion. But, with the world being as it is, it is a very confusing situation. So, we are going to keep up to date with this we're going to show you more updates on this in the near future uh, and i can't wait to bring you more updates really because this is going to be a really exciting project so thank you guys so so much for watching this theme park news update from sealed orlando we've got two videos set to come we've got top five tips on the lockdown for our coast child top five series and we've got cedar fair predictions for 2021 early predictions for 2021 those are set to come this evening as well so stay tuned for all those videos and for now guys make sure you stay tuned for a million entertainment silly prediction video tomorrow and for now guys keep on the coast of life my name is coast child and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day